Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today we will talk about uh, home groups um, the easy way to set up a little network for uh, sharing files and folders on uh, different computers uh, with Windows Vista and it was improved in Windows 7 a little feature called Home Group appeared in Windows and when you set up a new connection or when you click your wireless network for the first time it actually tells you do you want to set up a home group for sharing printers and files and it's pretty cool because um, it really makes networking much easier between Windows computers and that setting is available of course in Windows 8 now for the experts, yes, in Windows 8, you still have all the little settings that you can tweak manually if you don't want to use an automated process. But in uh, you know, most people aren't really very tech savvy and need to have everything done as easily as possible. So if you want to join another computer, first of all, of course, you need to have your Windows 7 or Windows Vista network enabled and home group enabled um, and usually it has a password that it, they give you when you set it up then what you need to do is go into your Windows 8 machine go into the corners for the charms bar and um, sorry phone just rang and uh, click into the settings and into change PC settings at the bottom there you'll have at the bottom of PC settings a thing called home group and here it tells you the home groups that are available it already sees all Windows home groups it's quite easy to understand so it tells me here a home group is available on another computer and so all you have to do is enter the password of that home group and you'll be um, joining that group so um, M H that is by the way the password that is given every time you make a new own group so uh, you gotta really you know, take note of that password so that you can join your network and this is to prevent you know anyone from actually accessing your password if you have sensitive files and folders once you've entered the password, you just click join. And here you'll see that uh, making changes to the home group. And it's going to tell you what's shared and what's not shared. And so here you can turn on, okay, share documents. Um, I want to share printers. And so once everything there is shared, um, that's all you need to know password is always the same every time you wanna you know join an own group so uh, all you have to do is enter uh, that information um, so basically when you've come to that little window here where it says okay documents shared or not shared and the printers and devices are they shared or not shared um, basically you know that you've done the right thing and that everything is going to uh, be easy to view and share on your home group network so uh, it's as easy as that if that panel does not appear um, either your home group in Windows 7 or Vista or any other Windows 8 machine you might have is not set up properly or maybe you've got just the wrong password in the home group and every machine you add in your own group for sharing printers and sharing files is always uh, connected with that famous password that you enter into your computer so uh, it's as easy as that and um, it's um, interesting and easy way to actually share information and one of the security features here 
um, and it does say just here at the top is that when you share content other own group members can see it but only you can change it so that's important because um, you might not want everyone to actually um, be able to uh, change all that information that you have in your computer it is still your computer so um, it's a cool little feature that is uh, available into uh, Windows 8 and also Windows 7 but it's improved upon your uh, to make things as easy as possible for sharing devices on your network if you enjoy these videos click the um, subscribe button and you'll be informed of new videos online. If you have any comments or questions, let us know. Maybe you have a request of a feature you'd like to see, let us know also. And um, we'll try to put that video online. And uh, hey, if you've got that new Windows 8 machine, you're a little lost and you don't know how to use it, we'll just look at our videos. Lots of little videos online to show you how to uh, use Windows 8 and actually do what you want with Windows 8 and we'll have lots of videos on Windows 8 so uh, it's a great place to be to learn more on how to use your computer to the max so thanks for watching hope you come back to the official Windows 8 channel bye bye